Good morning all and um, today at uh, the Palazzo Albrizzi Capello in uh, this amazing room we present an artist uh, with uh, this uh, different uh, interview that, that usual because we present this artist with a mask and uh, because he wants to take uh, his identity hidden and uh, with this uh, artistic name and uh, now I will ask to Rod, why um, you decided to um, uh, use and uh, um, wear this mask and uh, what about your artistic research? Yes, uh, the mask uh, is uh, um, a way to protect uh, my, uh, uh, my inspiration from uh, the real person because there is of course a real person behind the mask a real identity, a person that uh, is doing also in life uh, also something different than art. And to prevent uh, that uh, this uh, identity behind the mask uh, is polluting, uh, let's say, my inspiration. Um, the mask is the art, my art. And my art is also the mask. I cannot produce art without the mask. Then why the mask? Uh, as this uh, Greek uh, letter rho, I do not know. Because uh, uh, I think uh, that uh, it's uh, something to do with uh, my heritage, my studies. Uh, um, I think that what you do in your uh, early stage of your life, uh, what you study in the early stage of your life is uh, influencing you. Affects you a lot. Yeah. And, uh, and your art, of course, for the rest. So I will continue to wear the mask. I will continue to be an anonymous artist. Uh, I think that if I take off, take off the mask, then uh, my art will disappear simply. And there is a reason of uh, this artistic name, or is it a, a random name? There is probably a reason. Uh, if I make a Freudian <laughs> analysis of <laughs> yes, the reason, yes, for if, sure. If you want. Uh, I, th I, if I, I, I ask myself uh, as well. Uh, Rod, uh, uh, alt, alt, probably something to do with uh, the, the alter ego that uh, is in front of you, or the alter ego that is behind the mask. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and the Rod, uh, honestly, I do not know. Okay. It came to me as uh, all my art uh, is coming as a flesh, uh, as a as an image, as a, uh, yeah, as a physical and uh, psychological need, uh, um, I just translate into this. Uh, you are presenting uh, yeah. in this exhibition, Future Landscapes, yeah. here in Venice, two artworks uh, yeah. uh, that talks a lot with their colors, shapes, and uh, letters, uh, uh, and can suggest to visitors a lot of meanings and a lot yeah. of hidden meanings to yes. Uh, do you want to talk uh, with us uh, a little bit about uh, your, no, not only, not much uh, about the, the meaning, but about your artistic research? Yes, uh, um, my artistic research started uh, around uh, a couple of years ago. Um, and I think it's, uh, it's the final stage of an of a, of a inner path, of an inner research. Um, I think that I always had the need to express uh, something that I have inside myself. Uh, and uh, I found a way to express it uh, in, uh, in these larger surfaces. I cannot paint in small surface. I feel, uh, I feel uh, limited. Um, there is a meaning behind uh, each uh, painting. Uh, some of them, like this one, there is an historical meaning. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is an historical um, event behind this uh, that I have interpreted uh, this way. Uh, the other, uh, uh, the other artwork uh, is uh, the meaning is is not known uh, to myself. I just uh, saw this image. Uh, I had a flash, and I wanted to immediately to translate uh, into an artwork. Um, one of the things that I would like to do in the future is uh, to have some exhibitions in which uh, I will ask also to the visitors to interact with my work and to help me to interpret what is the message behind the work because uh, I'm not fully aware of the message and I do not want uh, 
to investigate too much because that could uh, kill uh, my inspiration. Yes, yes, I can, I can understand and I respect a lot yeah. your, your idea and uh, the meaning of what you are telling. Uh, absolutely. The, um, you feel like uh, in the middle yes. between yeah? the, yes. the, the, the world of, the, of creation and uh, you communicate yes. in the middle. You are, yes. Okay, okay, great. And um, how long are you living in this dimension of uh, uh, need, need to, be an, um, uh, to, to use a painting or uh, art in general as a way of expression? I think I will continue for the rest of my life. Of my life, uh, I, I hope, of course. But when you started? I started around uh, two years ago. Okay. Around two years ago, yes. I produced uh, 10 uh, artworks. And um, I, I think I will continue to produce uh, similar artworks. Um, I do not know what I will produce. I have some uh, ideas that I've just uh, fixed in some uh, small, um, um, I don't know the word in English, but bozzetto. Yes, a small drawing. A small sketch, drawing, yes. a, a sketch, yes. Uh, and uh, uh, that I needed to translate into, into such uh, large pictures. Um, I noticed that uh, this in flesh, uh, this image, they continue to come to me, so uh, I will continue to do because uh, uh, that's a way to express fully myself behind everything else that I do in life, because I do other stuff in life. And I'm very happy what I'm doing, but uh, I always felt that uh, something is missing. And probably this is the, the missing uh, part in my life. It's really interesting. And uh, mm. thanks for uh, uh, having the opportunity to interview yes. you. Yes. Our curiosity yes. goes to the stars yes. <laughs> because of your mask and because yes. of what you are telling yes. today about it. Yes. And we will follow for sure yeah. uh, your career and your uh, production. Yes. Thanks for being here. Thank events. you very much for uh, giving me the opportunity to participate to do this uh, great event. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Yes.